but I think that there's a lot of uh, questions about what the adoption curve is, what different sponsors are doing, you know, what the future looks like, how much of this is sort of a secular change and is going to continue um, in terms of adoption of some of these tools in clinical development, how much of it's being driven by COVID. And as I said on, on the um, session, I think that there's been a lot of things that have been accelerated by the environment we're in right now, but what it is is an acceleration of adoption that's been underway. And so we're seeing a quickening of the pace of um, incorporation of some digital health tools into clinical development and, and clinical care for that matter as well. Um, but these were secular trends. They're being driven by the ubiquity of these tools and the fact that patients now have digital health tools accessible to them. It's being driven by the fact that a lot of these tools can be used um, in ways to collect information that is perhaps more revealing, um, you know, in terms of trying to measure um, things that are important, clinical outcomes that are important. It's being driven, I th think, also by a secular shift towards trying to measure more um, variables that are relevant to patients, more um, outcomes that, that patients themselves can report and experience. Yeah, I would agree. I think there is a, first of all, I think just based on the questions from the audience, there is a lot of curiosity on, you know, what are the uh, regulations that are changing uh, to adapt to this rise of, um, you know, uh, clinical innovation and, and the tools that are associated with it, as well as, you know, how, um, how validated are these tools right now and what can be used for different types of situations and different um, types of uh, ther um, therapeutic areas. And so I think um, the, the questions are, are pretty expected in the, in the sense that we're at a time where a lot of experimentation has happened. And um, if anything, COVID has really accelerated that experimenta experimentation to implementation because of need, because there wasn't any other choice. And I think uh, there's going to be so much that's going to come out of this that we're going to learn that is going to change the way that we want to do things for the future. And that will impact all parts of uh, the industry, including regulations, including um, you know, uh, policy and, and guidelines for how we do things, uh, both uh, in, in the sponsor, on the sponsor side, as well as uh, everybody else in the, in the industry.